Hey, how you doing? My name's Darren, and I wanted to share something that's really important if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, and or maybe you're wanting to know more about Jesus and how you can get saved and how you can be a Christian. Or maybe you've been following God and gone to church, been a Christian, your whole life, 5, 10, 15 years. This is something that we have to continually practice. And what that is, is it's humility. Humility is very important to God if you read the Bible. Even in the Old Testament, it talks a lot in the Psalms, especially Proverbs, you will hear a lot about humility and being humble and how God gives grace to the humble. And that is how our spirit needs to be. Uh, even Jesus talking about it, the Sermon on the Mount, um, Matthew chapter 5. And he talks about the low in heart actually let me go to that it's the lowly i'm trying to remember the term that he actually uses uh, the poor in spirit is what he says blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven and what he's talking about there is the humble the poor in spirit is uh, being humble and having a humble heart, a humble spirit. You see, Satan, he was raised up, uh, or actually the uh, angel Lucifer, as he was called, uh, and he was an angel, one of God's angels, and he was very magnificent, glorious, and had all knowledge, and all of these things that God had given him, and because he got wrapped up into himself too much and what he was and all of the knowledge of that he became very prideful and he fell and God took away his glory and he's still going around through that pride through that illusion uh, through that ego and thinking that he's something and that's what we have to be careful we have to be careful of that as we walk because there's a lot of things we get tempted with and there's a lot of things knowledge that we gain and you know the way that people react to us and the position that we have there's a lot of things through life that can happen that can cause us to become prideful and when you become prideful a lot of times unless you're continually examining yourself you will not even know and you will not know that the way that pride works is it's kind of like an illusion and it deceives you into thinking that you're becoming something when you're actually really in God's eyes you're becoming worse you're becoming lower and you're actually losing your place with God so God works and those who are humble and you know the way that we can get there is by examining ourselves. and here's some other tips okay because through humility your false self and your ego it dies and a new spirit is given unto you so you know, like I said before God gives grace to the humble so you can overcome the world and evil so Jesus Christ, his cross was all about this. So you can share in that victory that Jesus had. So if you think you're struggling with this pride, which in my opinion, this is probably one of the worst sins. It's something that God doesn't like more than any other sin, really. And I think everybody struggles with this. This is probably something that the majority of people struggle with really more than any other thing. And in my opinion, this is kind of the foundation for anger 
and many other things that we struggle with, uh, it's it's really caught up in pride. So when you take care of the pride and you become humble, um, you'll you'll be able to deal with some of these other things. So have this attitude here, and it's going to really help you deal with the pride, and be humble. Number one, do not grasp. Do not try to grasp equality with God. See, Jesus had that kind of attitude. Uh, he didn't, even though he was the Son of God, and you know he knew this, he still didn't try to grasp equality with God. Number two, be a servant. Number three, let go. Hold on to no thoughts, images, or objects. And number four, forgive. And when you forgive and you let go of your anger and all of these things, you'll be able to return to your Father in heaven. And that's what we want to do. So God bless you. I hope this helps you out uh, to become more humble and really begin to receive from God. Because when you become humble, God is going to begin to give you peace like you've never experienced before. And he's going to really give you freedom uh, because that's where you, a lot of your bondage is coming from, from demonic influence uh, and all of these things that pride brings. And it brings destruction. It brings, you know, a lot of pain and suffering. So when you can release yourself from that and God sets you free, you're going to really experience freedom. So God bless you and uh, have a nice day.